Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously, create dozens of quick lists, display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Swing Trading Show, Wednesday, November 2nd, 2016. At 2 o'clock, it's going to be the uh, uh, minute from the Fed. We expect the, them to uh, announce a, 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 an increase of the interest rate for uh, December. That's what the market is expecting. What we think is they are going to do as usual. They, are try they will try to soften this, you know, and uh, to make it appearing not too bad. But who knows, you know. So far, the market seems to be thinking that there will be an increase uh, because uh, the, the, um, the, uh, for some reason, most of the sector are under a correction and the gold is going up. But it's only at 2 o'clock that we'll know. And, and over and above that, now remember that uh, next Tuesday it's going to be the U.S. election and this could have a very important effect also. So, um, 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 yeah, we have to be a little bit cautious. Anything can happen this afternoon, but you know, but these are the two events in a row that are going to happen. So on Wednesday today and next Tuesday, what's going to happen to the market since then? So I think it's time to consider what we are going to do if the market goes one way or the other. So, you know, if the market goes down, the first thing to do is to reduce the position before buying bearish stuff. And, uh, or if you buy some bearish stuff, uh, it, it could be... Uh, uh, um, uh, it, it could look like uh, protecting yourself with options. It's a little bit the same, except that it's going to be hard to cover the loss. See, if you have many stocks and they all go down, you would have to buy a lot of ETF, to, uh, bearish ETF, to cover that. So, uh, and, uh, so in some case, those people that don't have many positions then could cover in buying some ETF. So it's a question of uh, uh, how many positions you have to protect. Uh, but normally it's better start selling some stock and then buying uh, some uh, ETF uh, to uh, cover the losses or even to make money because there are many people that are uh, quite uh, close to 100% cash uh, right now. Well, yeah, that would be a good idea. Maybe uh, we should raise uh, the question bar right now and ask the people who are close 
to uh, uh, who has a minimum investment or very close to 100% cash on the market, waiting for the market to do something. So uh, the uh, you you can answer right now. Um, and uh, oh, it's the question bar that you opened. I wanted to have the yes and no. Okay, mm -hmm. put the yes and no. Uh, sorry. Uh, put the yes and no button. So you say yes, you are almost uh, 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 cash. Uh, yes or no. Cash or almost cash. So uh, there was a lot of uh, financial results again this morning. Uh, uh, but, uh, some of them uh, very bizarre, as it, uh, it, it is very often. It's been very, uh, very often recently. Look at Herbalife here. They had... They, they, they were expecting a dollar nine, they got a dollar 21, which is way better. So tell me why the stock is going down that much, you know, 1% of an increase. Alibaba, 70 to 79, the stock was going up, now it's going down, breaking its support. Gildan, 284 to 275, so it, it's a reduction, that's okay, it's going down the right direction. Yelp, 18 to 22. The stock rose but came back on the movement. So the market is a little bit worried right now. Um, electronic art, uh, 13 cents to 13 cents. Nothing's happening. Frontier is breaking down. Uh, and, uh, and they had, as expected, four, minus 4 cents in the profit. But 77% increase in the sale. That's, a, that's another bizarre one. And uh, Trans Canada is going down. But there's also... Uh, not that much because of its uh, financial result. They, they, uh, they were predicting 68, they got 78. The thing is, uh, they have, uh, there's a news, and uh, because uh, they are going to sell their, their assets of uh, energy generation from northwest of the states uh, to uh, reduce their debt. And uh, Chemico is, is bouncing back, 25 cents to 30 cents. Bay, Bay Tex minus 2 to minus 19. The stock, the stock should go further than that. And Shaw, 32 to 31, nothing's happening. Okay, thank you. So 28% 28, 28 of the people are near cash. So uh, that's uh, that's a, that's a good uh, percentage. Now you can raise the the question bar if you guys have any questions, and um, and, and, and and this is it. Uh, okay. So I made a mistake on, on the previous show uh, about uh, the uh, the need there. So I'm going I'm going to uh, do it again tomorrow. Okay, so uh, minus 25 on NASDAQ, minus 28 on the Dow, minus 109 on the TSX. And uh, so far, um, I mean, uh, we're very tight, uh, tightly sitting on the support here. So very close to uh, the uh, reversal of the uh, sideways trend here. And uh, the Dow Jones is, uh, is not going down a lot, just a little, but there is no room on the downside there. It would become uh, very rapidly a bearish cycle and a downtrend as also, while the SPY is already there. So the SPY is a little bit weaker than the Dow. Um, and uh, the SPTT is just uh, under a correction. But uh, it's the gold uh, sector that is hel helping the market right now but the gold is coming down prior to uh, two o'clock so uh, you, we can see some worries there too um, look at uh, this um, uh, uh, chart here uh, the crude oil has been going down all week and and last week and uh, now uh, arriving at its support so it is very close now to uh, stop the it, it should stop at this level you maybe have a little rebound so if you are short or have bearish ETF on USO I'd suggest that you case take some profit and 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 do so also on the gas with UNG but hold some because the the gas is still very very heavy um, and going down right now and uh, the energy sector are still uh, stronger uh, than uh, the uh, the resources themselves but there's still some some room here to go down so it's no time to buy the energy stock for sure and uh, the gold is going up today the, the sector broke out yesterday 
the stock maintains on the upside today they are not at all as strong so if you participated to this movement today i'd suggest that you take some of the profit already uh, just in case something goes wrong and uh, all uh, everything disappeared this afternoon and if it keeps going up then you're still making money so it's a kind of an insurance policy and um, so uh, the gold stock as you can see are going up too the mining is under correction today most of the stock uh, so uh, no long no longer any uh, bullish situation uh, in a very short term for tech and first quantum is under a correction and hud bay has that that went up a little bit too much is doing more correction than than the others and most of the other sector are all all in a, a, a downtrend bearish cycle uh, you know it's all goes like it all goes like that like here the telecom are heading towards the support and the financials are have uh, are now in a bearish cycle going towards the uh, uh, support the industrial are doing it as well uh, in line to reach the support soon the uh, real estate are keep keeps plunging uh, because they're afraid of the interest rate and uh, utilities are breaking down today and interest rates affects that too and uh, the uh, the healthcare are returning down and the big bounce yesterday happened uh, because of uh, um, uh, um, Valent that uh, did a big big move at 3:30, I'll show it to you a little bit later. And uh, and consumer staples uh, look like they're going to break down as well uh, this afternoon. And uh, the technology is still negative. So beside the the up the uh, bullish movement we see on the gold today, all other sector are negative uh, are being in. Uh, uh, a bearish cycle or close to be in a bearish cycle and many many sectors are close to begin a new downtrend as well so it is not really uh, the good timing to, in, to 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 buy a long position this morning on 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 bullish stock you know because there aren't any <laughs> but uh, um, and uh, even on on uh, on bearish uh, uh, ETF, uh, you know, before two o'clock, anything can happen. You know, it can really bounce back, bounce back hard. Who knows what they're going to come out with? But so far, the market is showing that should be on the downside. Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunities. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here I have um, the, uh, oh, let, let's see here, uh, uh, Val and um, Terra Technology looks good, uh, by the way. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 the way it's happening right now, it's, it's very close to, to, to break out here. So that's a, that's a movement to be checked. It's a nice situ technical situation. And, uh, but I wanted to uh, show you um, um, uh, Val and what happened yesterday on Valent happened at like uh, uh, 1536. What happened is uh, they came out with the news that uh, they would be close to sell their uh, drug called Salix against uh, a stomach problem for 10 billion to Takeda Pharmaceutical. So they were getting some money. Uh, but uh, today uh, it's a little bit of correction and uh, you know, uh, they, say they, they could sell it, they say, it. so it's not done yet. So that's the reason why, uh, you know, um, I, I think uh, 
there's a long there's a long place here. So I think if it breaks the 2850, it's because they no longer believe that's going to be uh, done. But uh, you know, it's it's a quite a big. Uh, movement we had so for the next few days I think it's really worthwhile to try profiting of the surge that's gonna happen on that stock and uh, here I have a question from GK uh, USO bottom price is question mark um, uh, USO uh, it's very close you know, we are there so I said that uh, at the beginning of the show I think if you were bearish on it I think you should start, you know, at any point in time, it could keep going down or coming back. But I mean, now you are, if you are bearish in there, you have some profit. So uh, I'd suggest that you start selling it. You know, you can do it in two or three times if you want, but start selling some right away and, 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 and some more, whatever, it start going sideways. And, um, and here, uh, hi, Michel. Which pertinent downtrend ETF should consider for now? But um, first, you have to choose the sector. Okay, I wouldn't buy a bearish ETF on crude oil right now because the movement is too advanced. So you have to, you know, you have to think the same way as you were going to short a stock. You know, so you gotta be at the beginning of something. So uh, the uh, uh the the uh, what else uh, there is none on the mining uh the, you know uh, so the, the the best etf are either on the market uh, or on some sector like gold and energy so you can't buy bearish etf on gold right now you know unless whenever it, it stop here and come back the other way retakes would be retake it uh, retaking its downtrend so that is a possibility there uh, a little bit later um, you also have uh, FEZ but you know I have I have some concern in buying ETF on an up uh, bearish ETF during an uptrend because this could be just a correction and then go back up so the, the, the it wouldn't, wouldn't would not be nice uh, right there so Probably uh, the, 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 the best ETF you could be, get right now would be on the market themselves since the market is, uh, uh, after a little pause here, uh, uh, could break down like uh, in the next elections or, or, or something. So uh, because the only thing we have near a, an important movement are the index. So the Nasdaq index, the, the Dow Jones and, and the SPY. And there are many uh, ETFs uh, there uh, on uh, the SPY. But uh, follow us over, over the next uh, few days uh, prior to the election. We'll keep looking at it and we'll have for you uh, suggestions for the, the best potential ETF uh, prior to the election next week. Yeah. And um, uh, is it time to buy WMT, which is Walmart? Walmart store, there is no, um, not, uh, not such a nice uh, signal over there because it's downtrend. So, um, you know, even though it would break out here, uh, it would not be an uptrend yet because, uh, you know, until we have, we are back here and then br break the $73, the potential is not big enough. So I, I don't know. Uh, for, for, uh, I, I think I would avoid uh, trading um, uh, Walmart and, uh, and uh, HVI, uh, I, I want to uh, follow with that one. Uh, HVI um, since yesterday at 12:55. So what? What do you? What is the question? T since yesterday 12:55. Okay, uh, there is not uh, any question there, but uh, that's doing exactly the same as uh, the uh, the uh, the. Uh, it's it's the opposite of the VIX. So it's actually doing the same thing as the spy is doing. For the moment, there's not much. The movement is way too long already, so uh, there's not much to do with that. But I don't really know what what is the question and why uh, yesterday 12:55. You are talking about that. Uh, let me uh, see it a little bit further. 12:55 12, 12, 12, is about here. 
So there was nothing there. So I don't know what the question is. I'm sorry about that. So uh, watch it this afternoon, 2 o'clock, uh, the, the minute from the Fed, and there could be some volatility on the market, and we should know about uh, the interest rate. But I wonder what they're going to say just prior to the election. See you tomorrow.